The outbreak has killed more than 120 health workers so far and infected at least twice that number. But this is the first time a WHO staffer has contracted Ebola. 200 workers who've become infected and half of those have died, which is very, very sad because without healthcare workers, there's no care, there's nobody to take care of the sick. And on top of that, there are so few healthcare workers in these countries to begin with. We need the international teams to come in and have the confidence that they can work in safety in these countries. So that's why it's so important that uh, the teams who come in anyways be knowledgeable, that they know how to handle Ebola, that they know about infection prevention so that they do not re they're not harmed themselves and they do not pass along anything between patients as well. The medic is from Senegal. He worked at a testing lab in the eastern region of Kaila Hoon, Sierra Leone's hardest hit areas. WHO says the lab's closure is temporary. It's not clear when it will reopen. WHO says one reason for the high toll among medical workers is lack of training and equipment. It's West Africa's first known Ebola outbreak, and many medics initially did not know the extent of the threat from infection. Maria Galang, CCTV.